Hey, hey, welcome back to another Prairie Sunset Ranch Farm Vlog. My name's Aaron, and thank you for tuning in, my friends. Road, baler, tractor, bale, windrow. Oh, this could only be the recipe for one thing. We're making some road hay today. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly touch on how we make road hay safely and efficiently. There's a couple things you gotta watch out for when making road hay. It's not all fun and games, you know. <laughs> Straight into the water. I can't even get it. I'm not bringing my baler and tractor here. We're also gonna go check on how our couple fields that we cut down are doing. Since that last video, we've been chopping that green stuff down. So we gotta go check to see where we are in the curing drying process of that hay. Well, you know what? Let's cut some hay too. Why the hell not, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you out with me to that nice alfalfa grass field. Uh, it's mostly alfalfa now. And we're gonna take a peek at that beautiful, beautiful hay, the possibility of beautiful hay there. And I'm gonna show you the, uh, a couple passes there. And we're gonna try to take down a few chunks, why not? We've dodged a couple bullets so far. Uh, just south of us, they got like four and a half inches. The other day they flooded out. We got about an inch and a half maybe at the most, so it wasn't too bad. But let's go check out this uh, road hay. Let's see if it's ready to go. And then let's go check out the other two plots that we have down ready to go. In the comment box below, let me know where you are and is the weather really crapping on your haying season? Cause it's making ours an utter nightmare to, to hay in. So let me know how you're doing, if the weather's holding up where you are. I know there's still lots of portions of uh, Canada, US that are in a drought. And now we just flip exact opposite of last few years so we're opposite of drought it's just crazy now to find dry places we're cutting ridges and and I, I can't see us i can't foresee us getting into the sloughs this year i doubt it like <laughs> maybe in september i don't know maybe <laughs> i'm gonna stop where there's a heavy windrow so i can get a gauge the the moisture level of it see if it's ready should be though up ahead i see there's a large tough this looks fairly thick to me, thick enough. So let's check her out. Let's see what's going on here. Oh yeah, it's. I'd say she's ready. I'm not even gonna. I'm not worried about that. I think this is ready to go. This can be bailed up. I guess I'll have to get the baler and get this off. Well. Uh, the sun, sun shining because it's just to get some, uh, you know, usually around like that five, six o'clock, all the clouds bunch up. That's when you get that little bit of rain. Uh, they're not calling for nothing, anything significant, but even if you get a couple mils, it's significant when you're baling dry hay, right? If it falls on the dry hay, then it just really sucks. So anyways, we're going to get that done. Let's go check those other two plots out quickly and let's get ripping down this road and get some uh, hay made. Now, I'm not a huge fan of road hay. As you guys know, in my past video, I actually had a cow um, consume hardware from a road bale. If you guys remember that video uh, from the winter, I found um, there was a pretty dirty bale. Uh, it's just something that you can't avoid sometimes. So these road bales are gonna be pulled aside and I have a designated area for them and they're gonna be rolled out because what I did is I threw that one in the feeder and I wasn't aware there's anything in it. So these will be broken up or unrolled on the snow or on frozen ground and I'll be able to quickly check it to make sure there's nothing in there. Whether it be plastic, wrappers, cups, hardware, just whatever, anything that you'd pick up on a roadside because cows, they will eat it, they're ridiculous. So uh, we gotta make sure this hay is safe first and foremost. I did drive the strip. I didn't see any um, debris in it. I saw, only thing I saw are a couple branches, uh, twigs, but this is nothing. Whatever, my baler can chew this up. This isn't gonna be a big deal. Uh, when you get large, large branch, sharp branches, that's when they can bugger up your belts and pick up and everything. But uh, that's enough chit chat. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's go check out those other fields. So I was baling out here yesterday i took everything that i could in terms of what was dry but we still have a little bit down here that wasn't ready it got pretty tough towards evening so i, I left it but uh, oh yeah this will be ready to go perfect so yeah there's still a few bales left here uh you can see from that bale all the way here and then out back i cut that strip uh all the high ridges are, are cut so this is good to go Oh, 
wind dried it up. We haven't had too much. Oh yeah, this should be good. I can, make, I can bail this. Well, I'm gonna go check that third field. I'll go tell dad the game plan to come uh, and hammer uh, this field with the rake. Pop out some of those, some of those beautiful five by sixes. Yeah, baby, they're adding up. They're adding up, folks. Here's kind of a pain making hay. Um, I'm not complaining. I shouldn't say a pain. It's a lot different than last couple few years that we're used to. I'm cutting the pieces I can access, drop on dry ground. I'm accessing them and cutting them down. Now, I really don't want to drop a bunch of hay down on wet ground because as you know, it, it, re it really takes a long time to dry probably go spoiled by the amount of rain showers and everything we have coming through so uh secondly the second challenge is when you drop that bale you got to look at the land you got to make sure you don't drop it in a dip or a hole or a little area that's lower because with the crazy rains we've been getting it's been kind of like intermittently raining heavy light just everything anything you name it um, so we got to be really uh, cautious about where we drop our bales. Uh, so you'll see a lot of our bales bunched together. We're going to be getting our John Deere 2755, uh, yeah, John Deere 2755 loader tractor back soon. It, it went in for some extensive repairs. I'm going to touch base on that when we get it back, but uh, they've had it for a little while and it, it needed a lot of work, especially after that flood. So that's gonna be nice to have that loader tractor back. And we're gonna start bunching those bales up into rows in the field and get them out of those lower areas, the ones I did drop. Sometimes, I'm not gonna drive a mile, but I'm gonna drop in the highest area that I have access to. That's not gonna take me too far off path. Well, I'd like to drive around with you guys some more, but let's go get the baler. Let's get some work done. Well, I added a twine there. <clears throat> I uh, oiled up the, uh, the chains and sprockets, some used motor oil and uh, i just locked the chamber i got a little bit of chatter from a couple of the teeth hitting so i'm just going to bend back uh, a couple of these teeth that were uh, making some chatter noise got this little device with a hole in the end and <sighs> bend it back straight there you go good to go Unlock that. Three stuff to drive. Let's give her, give her Swan River. Well, I got brand spanking new. Check these out. I don't know if you can see here. I'll point them down. Look at those beauties, eh? Brand new bale spears, folks. Picked them up at uh, New Holland when I went and got my disc mower parts. They were on for, uh, they're made in United States, which I was super good with. And they were only 94 bucks. Oh no, sorry, I'm sorry. They're made in Sweden. This is Swedish steel. They're 94 bucks. I was gonna get the American made ones because you know, when you get a product made in the United States, it's usually pretty damn good. But uh, they were 164 bucks a spear. So I went with these. Uh, just because I'll probably go through a couple sets of them so I could go through two sets of these for one of those <laughs> But uh, yeah, I know I popped them on and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to move um, the bales after I make them now Making road bales isn't my favorite thing to do number one. There's traffic I always worry about kicking a bale out with a truck right behind me or someone uh, but uh, I'm pretty cautious and also, I hate going along the, the steep ridges when I'm trying to put, uh, for example, just say I'm going on the right side of the road and I got to feed the left side of my bale chamber. It just feels really tippy. So I try to keep the bale fairly symmetrical so the baler doesn't bounce around. But sometimes it gets a little dicey on the steep ditches. Well, we're going to start, I guess, on this old service type of road. I got the bale set up a little higher because I don't want to haul a bunch around. But uh, yeah, this is like an old service road. Um, it's good to keep it clean. Well, in this little strip, I made three bales and I got a 60 incher in the chamber. So I'm just going to continue on on the road allowance there. But I'm going to grab this bale and pull it up to my first bale so I don't have to drive as far when I collect them. It's 
a pretty fair sized bale. I just dumped a bale. Everything was going great till now. Look at this shit. It's so annoying. I can't even get it. Dump the bale here. I didn't see this. There's dips and it just rolled. And this lump shot it this way, straight into the water. I can't even get it. I'm not bringing my baler and tractor here. And then I risk sinking my tractor for a bale. But it's the kind of shit that happens. <laughs> what can you do, eh? I wish I had, if I had my loader tractor, I would just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll unhook from the baler later, but this bale's ruined, so it's kind of a waste, but. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. That last bale really uh, pees me off. That was a big, nice bale. What a waste. No point, unless you can retrieve it right there. <laughs> right there, you're, it's lost. I'm not gonna... I felt like I was slipping. So, I'm not gonna risk my baler and tractor just for a one road allowance bale. What can you do? But if my tractor wasn't hooked up to the baler, I would do that, but I'm in a pinch. I got lots of bales down. I don't have time to fool around with that one bale. This side of the uh, ditch, it's much uh, less steep. It's much safer. So there's no water on this side either. But I'm gonna try to even it out so it doesn't roll in. Cause I don't want to be driving after. It probably will roll in, but that's fine. Yep, yep. Don't hit that neighbor's fence. I don't want a fence today. This isn't that steep, so I should be able to pull it back a little bit and uh... Now, we're gonna straighten it out, plop her down, and we are good. I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Yeah, this gets really steep here. I don't even know, like, I'm gonna start curving. <laughs> it feels like I'm gonna freaking tip over here. I feel like I should have my seatbelt on. Whoa, 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 yep. Yep. Holy, there's a big dip there in the, holy crap, that was scary. It felt like I was going to flip there. There was a huge dip, like a give in the road. And I couldn't even see it because the mower cut over it, so the grass is still high there. But I swear, I just got the baler. Like, I'm not worried about the tractor. I'm worried about the baler twisting and flipping. Yeah, especially if it's lopsided, actually. Right now, it's a little over heavy on the, the right side, so I got to start packing the left. up so I want to show you what I did I forgot to mention to you guys so my baler the first few bales I made I'll show you the hydraulic needle was showing that the tension on the bale chamber was in the red 
so basically it was going well into the red here this is filled with oil by the way this needle so anyways uh, i got a set now there so what what i found is this this lock was loose and it somehow i don't know it was it was not locked and it twisted on its own or i don't know i never touched it i don't know if maybe hoyt was playing with it i'm not sure but i changed it i set it after a few bills so now it's about just above three quarters so it's almost perfect now so we should have about 15 bales down here that's okay bonus 15 bales right well we're out in the field now done the road allowance hey now we're giving her we got a bunch of windrows to eat up here it's nice and dry lots of dust coming out behind them so yeah big windrows nice straight windrows so this should be a little bit quicker for me to bail up than uh the other day we had a rain cloud come over and it spit a little bit i didn't film because i just had to give her but uh it looks like it's past you can see it's pretty dark uh, if you look out uh to the south but uh let's hope that that's it for now we've got about 18 19 road bales but but it's good quality stuff this year uh there shouldn't be any debris i'm sure there's maybe a chip bag in one of them or two you can only clean it so much but uh i think it'll be decent story yeah that was a wet little spot look at that it's got an old um what do you call it carpet knife whatever you call it a little hook knife i just sharpened it with the grinder so it's pretty sharp cut this off Yeah, we'll punch some salt. Uh, one, two, three, few spots. Just to make sure that salt will preserve it, especially a bale like that, it's not overly wet. There's just a tuff of green in there, but no point spoiling the bale if you don't have to. So we'll see, we'll see how, how ambitious I feel. <laughs> well, shut down again. Yep. Just came out of nowhere, sunny on that side, raining on this, so pulling the plug for today. Nothing else can be done. So, I don't know. Hopefully it's just a quick little skiff and it stops. But I'm telling you, a guy can't win some years. <laughs> At least there's hay to make. So we pounded off a few bales today. We pounded off 30 bales. So that's okay. Uh, we got everything done that was dry was off. Everything that was left is still not dry. So I guess a little bit of rain, I guess won't, won't harm it too bad, hopefully, depending how much it rains. But well, time to throw the old disc mower's pants on. There we go. Oh, let's roll. I gotta watch, there's a little creek here, a little drainage basin. So I'm gonna cut her sharp here. Really don't wanna hit that. I'm sure it's full of water right now. I think we just missed her. That's good. But look at this. You can tell where the grass gets really long and green. You can see, look at the moisture. Look, water squishing out. So that's like kind of mossier soil, lower. I ain't going there right now. This, uh, if I wanted to cut further out, I'd have to take it to boat. Yeah, so. Well, I decided to do the other uh, chunk of this front piece of this uh, field. Uh, <clears throat> I did more and more and I was like, man, I don't, I almost did half of it. So I'm like, I might as well just finish the whole front and then move into the middle where the good alfalfa is. But um, it's all on a ridge. So I thought it would be good to cut it down now. It's pretty thick, nothing crazy. 
it's really thick, not tall, but like this side's grassy, and then you got um, areas like we're coming into right now. It has uh, alfalfa, and then you have tree foil, alfalfa, brome. So it's really nice hay. This would make really nice horse hay. So I, I hope we get this off nice and dry with no rains, because I'll mark this field as possible horse hay. It's almost perfect. Um, it's got some alfalfa, not too much. It's got a little bit of tree foil, some brome, some other grasses. So yeah, I'd say it's pretty damn nice for uh, for you know specialized livestock like sheep, goats, horses, whatever it may be. Lots of grasshoppers once again. We need a lot bigger now. But uh, I guess the water. Um, I thought with all the water and the rains and everything, I thought it would uh, would have beat down those grasshoppers pretty good, killed off a lot of them. But uh, what happened is I think they hatched late, and those eggs, those eggs are bulletproof, you know. So in the, when they're in those eggs, the water won't wash, won't kill them. So oh look, it's starting to rain again. Perfect. Oh yeah, yoy. But oh uh, well, yeah, there you go. It rained earlier today. It was pouring. But uh, yeah, no, this is a nice uh, field. This is why I decided to cut it. Um, now we're getting a little bit of rain. I'm not overly worried. It doesn't look like a big system. But seeing I just cut it, it's not dry. It shouldn't do too much damage unless we get something quite significant. So let's hope it just dies a little mist or something because I'm not even going to stop. I want to finish this chunk. Then we'll have this whole section or this whole piece done. So. Then we can move into the middle where the alfalfa is. <laughs> got a little visitor here. It's like a little uh, coyote. Look at this little guy. Oh, he's kind of tame. <laughs> Surprised my dogs haven't picked up on him. My, my other dog was laying right here, but uh, they're pretty sly, these guys. I see the big black dog there. Orange dog. I don't know where he is now. Well, I started uh, that middle part I was talking about, but I'm just cutting the border, so I'm gonna let you go. And I'll catch up with you once I got the border cut, and uh, I'm gonna show you what we're cutting here. Well, this is what we're gonna work on next. Some pretty nice alfalfa. It looks like it's pretty hammered down. It looks like lots of things, bears and who knows, running through here, living in here, doing whatever. But <clears throat> like, look at this. This is a heavy, heavy hay. Like, this will take a few days to dry out, but the sun is going down, so let's put the hammer down. Let's try to get a few more uh, passes. Let's try to get a few passes done and uh, get her done. This is some pretty thick hay. I'm gonna do a few more rounds. I, I don't think I'll get this one done tonight. Uh, I just don't know. We'll see how it goes, but we're gonna give her some more. It's, it's kind, of, kind of raining, kind of showering. It's sunny out. It's just messed up out altogether. Oh, a rainbow. Neat. I love seeing rainbows when I'm making hay. That's perfect. <laughs> Jeez. Well, folks, it's getting darker out, but I'm still going. Still trying to get this done. I probably won't finish this tonight, but if we did that other piece, we're gonna get majority of this piece done. And I am heading out camping, so um, 
I'll catch up to you when I'm bailing this, these two fields, and uh, we'll catch up then. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure this gets cut down. Now, I'm gonna imagine Dad will probably come out tomorrow or the next day with a sickle mower and, and finish the job, whatever I don't do, uh, probably tomorrow. And then imagine we're gonna be bailing it, uh, you know, come weekend. So, anyways, folks, I'm gonna keep on giving her. Uh, until we run right out of daylight, I guess. So, what can I say it's going pretty good? The mower's cutting decent. Uh, the new belt definitely is helping it out. It's not slipping at all now. It's cutting like a champ. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do my knives. I sharpen them. But I think I'm going to probably put new knives on. This is probably the third, fourth field that I cut. So, and then uh, next, the next video, I'll give you a, a current bail count. Uh, you might be surprised what we put through, or maybe you won't be, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit. So have yourself a good one. I'm going to let you go with that and work into the night. Maybe I'll catch up in a few minutes. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it's only like 10.30 or 11-ish around there. But I'm going to call her. Uh, I noticed uh, this last round, the uh, tractor seems a little bogged down. I don't want to burn my belt. It's pretty damp out. It's just rained. So, or it didn't rain, it just kind of showered. <clears throat> but I will leave the rest until later. I got lots down. There's the coyote. What a maniac. I can see him running. <laughs> Looking at me. That guy's been following me all day. Oh, oh this thing's heavy. a big chunk of this field is soaking out so we'll leave the rest hopefully like this rain i am done this is aaron throwing the towel we will catch you next weekend with an all new prairie says ranch farm vlog be there or be square my friends have yourself a fantastic weekend and a great week and we'll catch you the next one catch you in the flippy flop bye for now Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top